Hello my lovies, can you believe it is May? Actually it's like a week into May. Yes I'm very late putting this video up and sorry there wasn't a video last week but yet again life got in the way. Can I firstly say I'm really sorry if I look really tired? I am and no amount of makeup is hiding that fact so yeah sorry for that if you care. Today's video is my April favourites if you haven't guessed from the title. I haven't tried much new again I mean I'm I'm kind of a creature of habit so it takes a lot for me to try something new. I tend to just stick to what I know and go with it um, but I have a couple of things here for you that I thought I would share with you so it's going to be a nice quick favourites video which I love and I know some of you love too so I'm going to get straight into it. Enjoy! I'm going to start with the products and then go into the randoms. So the first thing that I've been loving this month, last month, whatever you want to say, is an eyeshadow duo thing and it is, I don't know if this has been in my favourites before, I feel like it has but anyway, really loving it otherwise, um, but it is a Chanel cream shadow in the colour Ermaville, I have no idea, but it is a beautiful rose gold pinky colour and I've been using this as a base just putting it on with my fingers really nice and easy and then over the top and like over the top of my crease and things I've been using Kiko's 201 and I know this has been in a lot of my videos but I, it's the sort of thing that I kind of pick up and use a couple of times and then I forget about it and move on to something else but it is this colour again a really nice champagne colour and then these two together oh my god Goodness me, they are beautiful. I love them. They're perfect for every day. It's what I've been wearing them for every day. Um, for work, for a really like, natural kind of look. And they're just beautiful and I love them. And they're effortless and so easy to do. And you can... I just love them. And um, using like a cream eyeshadow as a base is, is amazing. Like it just makes your shadow stay. And also the colour of the like powdered shadow for me tends to come up more pigmented. Don't know why, but it does. But yes amazing. Next product is a hand cream and it is the lovely, be lovely to your hands hand cream by Niels Yard. <laughs> that was hard to say. The consistency of this is quite, it's really thick. I would say it's slightly greasy but it soaks in nice and quickly but I use this at night so I put it on before I go to sleep and I like proper cover my hands in it and then sleep with it on and let it soak in over um, through the night and over the night and it's made such a difference to my hands like I've really suffered over the last couple of months with dry hands um, actually it's kind of a thing I always suffer with my hands tend to always be dry and my elbows I've been using it on my elbows as well and it's just been amazing like it's the sort of cream that you put on and you know it's going to do good to your skin. Does that sound really weird? Probably. I just really like it and the smell's incredible and it's really strong and you can, oh, I just love it. Um, but it says moisturising organic honey is blended with energising orange essential oil in nourish to nourish the skin and lift the spirits. That was very hard to say for some reason. But it does. It feels amazing on your skin and the smell kind of cheers me up if that doesn't sound too weird. But yes, Neil's Yard, their Be Lovely hand cream is definitely a must have for your bedside table or your handbag if you want to carry it around with you. Moving on to randoms. That's it for product. <laughs> Told you I don't really change anything. The first thing I've been loving, I and mean, I've been trying to drink a lot more water because I know I don't drink enough and like I can see my skin suffering for it. Like it's part, I think it's partly why my skin's so dry and I've been having breakouts recently and I, I think it's my diet and that I don't drink enough water. So yeah, I've kind of switched my diet up a little bit at the minute, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, I started to drink more water, so I I purchased one of the Hydrate Mate um, bottles. This is actually the fruit infuser one, but I've taken the infuser thing out because I did have ice in my water. But I've been filling this up most days. I haven't been taking it to work because of the size of it. It is kind of huge, look. It's, it's ginormous. But like on my days off and things, I've been making sure I'm drinking two of these. I am actually behind right now. I'm filming this at 12 and I'm on 11am so I'm an hour behind but I can catch up. But yeah, I think it just reminds me to like drink more water um, and I really like the fact that it's got the times on there so you can keep up with it um, and it goes from 8am to 6pm. Yeah, I've just been really liking it and I love, it says uh, work hard and dream big on the front and I think it's really cute. They do lots of different colours. They also do one um, that just has a straw in it. I kind of wish I'd got that one because I haven't been using fruit in it. I've used it once and I kind of I don't, I don't like like lumps in my drinks, so I don't like orange juice with like the pulp in it, that sort of thing. And I found when I put fruit in it, I was getting that and it was putting me off drinking it, which was not the point. So I've just taken it out for now, but definitely making me drink more water. Carrying on from like the healthy diet kind of thing, I discovered this month, last month, whatever, that I really like blueberries. 
I've never really been a berry person, so I don't like strawberries, I don't like blackberries, I don't like raspberries, um, I didn't think I liked blueberries, but I tried some um, like at middle of the month time and really liked it and now I'm obsessed. Um, so yeah, I love blueberries, don't know what else to say really, I've been eating them on their own, I've been eating them in porridge. I don't know how else you can eat them, I could probably put them in a smoothie. Blueberries, I really like blueberries. And last but not least, the other thing that I've been loving this month is Peaky Blinders on Netflix. Now I'm really behind at the minute, I'm actually only on season one, episode five. Um, everyone else is like up to date watching them weekly but I'm hooked. I'm not gonna lie, half the reason I started watching it is because I know Tom Hardy is in season two. Don't lie, you know that's partly why some of you started watching it too. But I haven't reached that stage yet, but I'm really enjoying it. I wish men dressed like that now. Is that weird? Please thumbs up this video if you agree with me and you like the fashion for men then. Men should always wear waistcoats and like white shirts and little pea cats, personally. <laughs> Oh god. And that is it for my April favourites. I told you it was a quick one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you let me know this week. Let me know if you have broken up from uni yet because a lot of my uh, friends have now broken up from uni. A lot of them have now finished uni and handed in their dissertations. Woohoo! Thumbs up this video and let me know if you have just handed in your dissertation. Well done you. Go and have an amazing summer. Do nothing. Drink lots of crap food. Yeah, go on holidays. Get a tan. Enjoy life. I'm going to stop here. Uh, see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye!